Hey, I'm live. Oh, great, great, great. Livingston Taylor here. So good to see all of you. As usual, uh, uh, Brittany, our sort of executive, executive producer. We were on together and she said, I'm going to go. I'm going to go right now. You're going to go live. And I thought, oh, live. One more time. One more time. All right. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. You never know where it's gonna go. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. Is he sinking in a boat? Is he crashing in a plane? Does he even understand that the devil loves the rain? Is he casually eccentric or actually insane? What stork brought that brain? It's the Livingston Taylor Show. It's the Livingston Taylor Show. You never know where it's gonna go. The Livingston Taylor Oh, don't you know It's the Livingston Taylor Show Ah, the Livingston Taylor Show brought to you today by as always, for all this time, for all these endless weeks together, WMVY, listener-supported radio, listener-supported radio on Martha's Vineyard. Um, uh, uh, also, uh, I'll get back to our uh, lead commercial sp sponsor today, but... Uh, Sheriff's Meadow Foundation. Sheriff's Meadow Foundation has lots of open land on Martha's Vineyard and these hiking trails, and they work hard to maintain them. And uh, um, uh, this is sort of this is sort of tick season right now, and I've been looking up information as to how to uh, uh, put you guys in a position where you 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 don't get. Uh, uh, tick infested and obviously you put on some DEET um, uh, and you uh, put your pants in your socks and uh, and uh, yep and if you get stuck with a tick get that tick out of you right away anyhow uh, our last sponsor today are Rapella Lures Rapella Lures because I want you to, to know that my producer um, uh, I took my producer, uh, our producer, fishing for the first time, and they got a bass. They got a striped bass, and it's as though I created this monster, and now our producer is a fishing fool. She loves to fish. Rapella Lures is one of her favorites, and uh, Rapella. Uh, is a, uh, it's, uh, was Laurie Rapella started Rapella Lures in Finland in 1936, Finland, 1936, and um, uh, 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 Mini, Minnetonka, um, Minnesota, Minnetonka, Minnesota is where they're manufactured here in the 
uh, in the United States now, or that's their offices. I frankly don't know where they're manufactured. But I always, whenever I'm in a store and uh, uh, fi uh, looking at lures and watching others look at lures, the thought that I always have is somebody sa will say to a salesperson, will this lure catch fish? Is it a good lure? And all I think to myself is, it doesn't have to catch fish. All it has to catch is you. So as soon as you've taken it to the cash register and put it on um, a Visa card, it's, uh, it's all done. It did its job. It caught you. All right. Let's see. Let's up. Oh, gosh, I was looking through my list of songs. This is one of the ones that I love to play. E major starts with a little diminished chord. I get lost crossing the street and I can't find my own two feet I love my baby and she thinks I'm sweet I must be doing something right she's intelligent patient hard-working and shrewd I'm sarcastic bombastic lazy and rude but we burn it up when we get in that I must be doing something right Finally there's a crystal sunrise Finally the world is fair All the love that I kept hidden from the moon Is finally got words to share There are plenty of guys she could pick GQ jawline, hair so slick I gotta break it to you fellas You've all been lit I must be doing something right There are plenty of guys she could find Good looking rich and not out of their minds But oh good news Love still and I must be doing something Well, I must be doing something Oh, and I must be doing something You know, it, uh, that, this is another one that I, I remember so clearly where I was. I was sitting in my living room and I was writing with my friend Ned Claflin and we were writing this song. And we wrote that verse, there are plenty of guys she could find good looking rich and not out of their minds. And then Ned wrote, um, Hey, good news, love is blind. I'm a, and I looked at him and I, I remember so vividly this moment because I looked at him and I said, wait a minute, what about hey, good news, love's still blind? And I remember him looking up to me and picking the pencil up and going and, and nodding with the pencil and then writing down the lyric. Ah, fun, fun. Now I was, uh, I was busting to hear a little bit of my uh, old and dear friend, Pat Alger. Just, uh, he's such a, he lives down in Nashville. 
and he's such a wonderful soul. And you know, I have to, I have to say, I would encourage you to get to go find some of his music, Pat Alger, and uh, he's been a, certainly an integral part of uh, my career and my music. <laughs> writes to thee. Four hands, heart and soul, how to tune on my piano. Days were hot, nights were slow, fingers popping to my radio. You were always there beside me. Trouble came, you would hide me. You will always be heart and soul to me. And you wrote me poetry, simple rhymes, so innocent. Songs would pour from my guitar. Easy ones about moon and stars. You were always there beside me. When trouble came, you would hide me. You will always be hard. I wonder where you are tonight. I wonder in whose arms tonight. I wonder, do you think of me? Heart and soul, key of C. You were always there beside me. When trouble came, you would hide me. You will always be in my mind. I can see you will always be heart and soul to me. Heart and soul. I fell in love with you, heart and soul. The way a fool would do mad Because you held me tight. You stole a kiss in the moonlight, heart and soul. I begged to be the door, lost control, and tumbled overboard. Your lips were thrilling, oh, much too thrilling. Never before mine so strangely willing. But now you see what one embrace can do. Look at me, you've got me loving you madly. That Heart and soul to me. Hmm. Okay, now it's time for a few birthdays. Well, actually, more than a few. We got quite a few here. 
Um, uh, Paul Yandel, Paul Yandel. Uh, no indication as to how old he is or not, and that's fine. 518. 518 is his birthday, and uh, uh, that's today. That is, he's right on the day. Um, uh, um, uh, Marcy Lippmann Lackritz. Uh, Marcy Lippmann Lackritz. Today, 518. Alex Bingham. Um, uh, is sharing, what? Show the oh, I'm showing the shingle, sorry. Sorry, I got, got the word from my producer. Get the shingle out there. Uh, Alex Bingham, um, 519. And uh, fourth on our list, but certainly not a fourth in our hearts, is uh, uh, our dear friend, Mary Roth. Mary Roth is the steady of our friend Michael Bigham, and so she keeps him online and in tow and just keeps him, uh, he keeps him very, Michael is subject to occasional melancholy, but not with that Mary around. She's just right there with him and just on the straight and narrow. Oh, Mary, what a wonderful human being you are. Happy birthday. Susan Marcus Warren, 522. Uh, so coming up around uh, the corner, Suz Deluzio. Uh, Suz Deluzio, 522, Suz. And when I see Suz, I think, of course, of uh, Suzy Roach, of the Roach sisters, but Suz Deluzio. Uh, and is advertising that she is 64 um, years old. A uh, Karina... Uh, Weber, Karina, um, uh, 69, 524, she'll be 69. Gary Wicks, 524, 68, 68. And somebody, uh, 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 Scott Michelin and uh, Sherry Masur, Scott Michelin and Sherry, they, they, they wrote us a note and they said that this is the 37th uh, uh, anniversary since they first had dinner and so I, I oh, are are we selling celebrating people's first dinners and I thought and then I thought that about it and well wait a second if they're celebrating it then it makes sense for me to celebrate it too for the Livingston Taylor show so uh, Scott and Sherry, yeah, congratulations on your 37th having dinner together anniversary. I hope it was a good restaurant. I hope it wasn't Roy Rogers. Just saying. Okay. Oh, good, good. Oh, I love doing this song. This is a song. that I first played for my favorite song editor. And you people who are creating things out there, you have got to have an editor to take it to. Somebody to make suggestions, to listen through it, to say this works, this doesn't work, move forward, hold that back. You need a good editor. Now, but let me also say, when you're getting your work edited, Edited is suggestion. It's, it's not gospel. It is your work. You get to do with it what you want. You can take their edits or not take their edits. I can tell you if you're in an editing role and uh, uh, you suggest to the creator that you will help finance their project if you're allowed to edit, they will be much more receptive uh, to a capitalized suggestion as opposed to an undercapitalized. Just saying. Anyhow, my favorite editor over the years for my songs has been my beautiful friend and former sister-in-law, Carly Simon. Carly Simon. So I brought her this song, oh gosh, now, you know, uh, 10 years ago or so, and she heard it, and she called a woman in a 
uh, by the name of Carol Bear Sager. Carol Bear Sager. And Carol Bear Sager is, oh, uh, oh God, she's a wonderful songwriter. But her great skill, Carol Bear Sager's great skill, is not necessarily writing the whole song. She's what they call a closer. She can make the suggestion that gets it done. And uh, it's, it's a great talent to have. It sort of reminds me of that, of going into uh, that phrase that I like to use. A good player knows what to play. A great player knows what not to play. Um, a great song editor, or in Carol Bear Sager's case, a great songwriter, knows what not to add. So, um, oh gosh, I, I went out to Hollywood. And I wrote this song with Carol. Imagine the gods all knowing and wise, seeing my need behind my sad eyes, and knowing how lonely this poor heart has been. Please hear my plea and let my truth. Mm. 
Oh, yes, I do enjoy doing that song. Now, um, the other thing is that my, my friend Bill Elliott just did up a symphony chart for that song. And we're going to, we're, um, we're, now that the world, we were going to make a symphony album last year, but now that the world is opening up again, we're going to make, uh, we're going to get this, uh, I think we're going to go to Budapest or I, I'm not, um, uh, I'm not sure where, we haven't decided quite where we're going to finally record it, but we're going to go and get us a great symphony. We're going to put Bill Elliott's amazing charts in front of them and we are going to work those players like rented mules. They are going to saw hard and we're going to make a whole lot of record for you guys. Uh, actually for me too, but uh, oh, we'll have a great time. Uh, upcoming shows. Upcoming shows. Living St. Taylor's going to be Black Burke, Black Birch Vineyard, Black Birch Vineyard. This is kind of hard to see. There it is, a little clearer. Black Birch Vineyard, Hatfield, Mass. Um, the June thirteenth, June one three. And then we're going to be in Vinegar Hill Music, Arundel, Maine. I've played there a lot of times. Vinegar Hill Music, Arundel, Maine. Don't let the vinegar push you away, thinking there will be an astringent quality. Oh no, the name is Vinegar. The venue and the music coming out of it is sweet as honey, people. So Vinegar Hill uh, Music, Arundel, Maine, that's 625, uh, June 25th. I will be there. I uh, cannot wait. To, well, hold on a second. Let me check. Was that one uh, sold out? Vinegar the Hill? The other one, the Hale Farm is sold out. Hale Farm is sold out. So, uh, uh, okay, good. Um, and then... Check website, check livetaylor.com, livetaylor.com. That's where I go to need to know where I'm going to play. Where are you playing? I don't know. Let me check my website. So if uh, uh, it's very good, reliable uh, information, uh, I'm going to be playing in Los Angeles in July. I'm going to go down and do a little show in Southern California. God, I was made for SoCal. And uh, I got shows in New York City. Just stay in, stay in tuned. Um, also, I know I've been flogging this, people. I've been flogging this class, but I've been uh, uh, promoting this because it's good. Master class with Liv. This is August 7th in Beverly, Mass. at Endicott College. I was up there the other day. I'm telling you, this is an amazing facility. And this is going to be a really nice class. Class in the morning, uh, critique in the afternoon, coffee, lunch, music. Um, so if you or somebody you know is a player and they uh, really on any level come to that class because we're really going to be able to add quality and value to what you're doing. You will be amazed in just a little while how good we can make you sound. Oh, I'm getting the word uh, move it ahead. It will allow you to quit your day job, to go on the road and be a rock and roll star. Well, okay, maybe not. But nonetheless, it will, it will allow you to uh, let your beautiful music shine. And that's a lot. Let's see, where's my list? Ah. Uh, we had a beautiful brother by the name of Alex. And Alex, uh, oh, he died a long time ago now. But I wrote this song after he was gone. I wrote this song for him because this song, 
he is this character. He is this guy who just got, uh, just had this engine of hope that just kept cranking forward. And I know you people have been through so much in the last year. And actually, you're just starting to fathom, as things open up, you're just starting to fathom just how much you've been through. And I got it. I got it. And so, yeah. I, uh, I love to play this song. I love to play, throw this song out to my beautiful older brother. He was the oldest brother, so our oldest brother, Alex. I'm on the edge and I'm chasing a dream. My baby, don't mind coming home with a pocket of nothing she still thinks I'm fine she don't complain about the cold and the rain and the heartache that we know she don't mind chasing a dream till the end of the rainbow I get a taste and I let it ride my baby don't mind and when i'm blue she takes my gold shoes and gives them one more shine with a kiss goodbye she straightens my tie says my plan will work this time and i'm ready for one more round because my baby don't mind All young and green And I promised when my ship came in I would give her everything She smiled and gave a little shrug Cause she'd heard that pitch before I didn't understand as she held my hand She didn't need anything Years go by and all those promises have come and gone And a tear still fills her eye when I sing the old sad songs And she sits there patiently as I search for one more night And the candle keeps on burning My baby don't mind Feels bad for the people who've got To walk down the road in fear Hates to see them giving up When the promised land's so near She can't believe someone would leave Good work left undone Believes there's room at the table for each and every one. Late at night, when I tuck in the bed and she holds me tight, she says, I'm sorry it's so. Don't worry, we'll be all right. Together we're a family, and we're going to be just fine. And I lay my head in her loving arms, cause my baby don't Walking beside me, walking.
well, gee, someone's calling our phone and that worked, that timing. I don't know how that timing works out better than that. Usually we shut these things off. Gail, do you want to shut it off or? Oh, I said Gail, I meant to say the producer. <laughs> Yeah, I just unplug it from the, yes. Take away its electricity. Cut the head off the Medusa. That is so funny. All right. Listen, um, next week, next week we're going to have an announcement as to uh, the Livingston Taylor show, which was invented during the corona so I could be with you and now the world is opening up again and I'm going to be with you in person on many times but I've really liked this but we're going to morph the Livingston Taylor show in another direction we will have all of those details next week and it's going to be so much fun it's going to allow us to really do really do some nice adventurous stuff. Now that the world is all wide open, we are gonna, we are gonna have a wonderful new uh, uh, exploration. And so, all right, I'm out of time. Oh, I'm really out of time. I am way late. Um, our sponsors, Sheriff's Meadow Foundation. Nice walking on Martha's Vineyard Island. Beautiful paths. I don't know if they are off Martha's Vineyard, but if you get to Martha's Vineyard, start walking around these Sheriff's Meadow uh, trails. Very good. WMVY, uh, a long uh, sponsor since day one of the Livingston Taylor Show. And Rapella Lures. Reminding all you lure buyers out there that the lure has done its job when it catches you. That notwithstanding, buy that lure. Remember, it is the embodiment of hope that you will go out on the bounding main with your loved ones and you will catch a fish and be able to feed yourself and justify to your spouse this unbelievable outpouring of wealth uh, to that end. Okay, enough. Thanks for spending time with me.